Here at the edge of La Palma Island, Pedro Sanchez surveys the eruption site. The sea lies before him, but tongues of lava are flowing fast towards the coastline. Traveling at an average speed of 700 meters per hour and at close to a piping hot 1,000 degrees Celsius, concern is growing about the damage the Molten River could leave behind. Right now, the most important thing is to ensure safety. We must ensure a safety perimeter. We're still in a stage of eruption with volcanic activity, so let's not come near it, let's stay as far as possible. In the early hours of Monday morning, many houses were still up in flames, with hectares of surrounding land evidently scorched. But despite the harrowing scenes, no loss of life has been reported thus far. No one has been treated for any problems related to the volcano and we do not have to report any loss of life or personal damage. I think that's the best news when a volcano is still active. Like these shepherds who refused to leave their goats behind, more than 5,000 others have been evacuated from their homes since Sunday, although it's unclear when they'll be able to return. It will not be possible to, to build a house there in the next 10 years, I think. There's nothing, there's no water, there's no electric, and the magma is, needs years to cool down. Until its eruption, the volcano at Cumbra Vieja had slumbered peacefully for 50 years. But the latest activity could last for some time to come, as another magma reserve has been located at a depth of nearly 30 kilometers underground.